flying high above the violence that's just on the other side of the treble crossing. Jordanian military helicopters sending a clear message of what's waiting should the conflict in Iraq spill over the border. It's a show of strength that greets cross-border truck drivers as well. Many of them have driven this route for years despite many security threats. But on this day, they describe the situation they've left behind as grim. The planes and the helicopters are mostly being used in Ramadi and Fallujah. The situation in Fallujah is to the point where you can't leave your door and you can't go outside. On the Iraqi side of the border is Anbar province, much of which is controlled by Sunni rebel groups, including local tribesmen and fighters from the extremist group the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. They've been fighting for greater control of the area and have in recent days made gains across various towns in western Iraq. Travelers say they've seen families from Anbar rise up against the government forces trying to push ISIL out. In contrast, morale is high among Jordanian soldiers on the border. But the Amman government is concerned enough about what's happening in western Iraq to deploy troops to the border area. They've also declared a state of alert along the whole Iraqi-Jordanian border, stretching about 180 kilometers. And security forces are closely watching what's going to happen next, ready to mobilize if the situation demands. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera, Amman.